Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Don't Argue Podcast. You can see me with a grin on my face. Obviously, Fremantle, we win that game. But before I start, I want to sort of preface this by saying that I that, that thoughts are out there uh, with um, Oscar, uh, Oscar McDonald, um, sincerely, as well as um, Brennan Cox. Now, uh, you know, Warner is all Carl Warner. I, I, I assume he's okay. But I didn't send, though, obviously, thoughts to those who are injured and... Um, yeah, you, you don't want to see that stuff, so that's how I'll start. Now, to the game. Um, Fremantle, 93 to line 70, 49 to 10, 10. What can I say? This game here started off with, I think, a lot of us saying some uh, very interesting words under our breath. Maybe some of us turning off the television. Maybe some of us sort of watching the game live thinking, what on earth am I doing here? But alas, alas... It wasn't to be, we weren't to be worried too, too much deeply in the first quarter anyway. Um, obviously, it was all lines, I thought, right? And then the second quarter happened, and I think there was just that slight climb, especially after the two goals. You could feel, maybe not necessarily a momentum shift, but it was good to see Frio, you know, stamp the authority. Now, don't worry, I went against the player, um, you know, yarns and chats and stuff. I, I really think that this game here, I think... Uh, was, was a real test to see who was going to stand up, and a, a few players did. Now, just quickly as well, you know, Fremantle, 385 disposals, 158, you know, handballs. Uh, disposal efficiency as well was 72.7%, and our efficiency, efficiency inside 50, after sorting things out, was at 50%, which is good. Look, this game here was... Was the story of two halves? Yes and no. I mean... I think Frio, despite that that rush in the third quarter, right? I still think Frio, I still think we still had our struggles, right? Especially, as I mentioned, because of the people who went down, there was a lot of shuffling going on there. And uh, Frio did well, despite the late surge by the Lions, to actually um, hold them back, cage them, if you will, and obviously have our way, which we did. Now, in the game as well, I just want to point out, there were moments there in the game that that, that started off with the likes of Alex Pierce. Um, Alex Pierce, we we can be harsh of him sometimes. I know I can be, but geez, you know, especially when we were, when we were getting slaughtered early in the half, in the first quarter, he was he was there. In the second half, he was there. In the third, in the fourth, he was good. I I, I can't. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I take my hat off to him. Luke Jackson, my goodness, he was superb, wasn't he? He was absolutely superb. Caleb Sarong, right? Career high. Career high, right? Um, how many disposals? 46 disposals. 46 disposals. Luke Ryan as well in the mix. Andrew Brayshaw. Aish as well I thought was good. Uh, Jordan Clark. Hayden Young. Nat Fife. Oh, it was just a... You know, Sonny Walters as well. Michael Frederick. Freddie, steady. Jai Amos. How can I forget him? Young King, um, you know, and even our defense as well, you know, at Sharp, oh, it was such a good collective effort, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm sort of going off and, and going on tangents here with the players, but I mean, overall, it was just a good collective effort from everyone from Sweater to, you know, to, um, as I touched on, Freddie, to, uh, you know, the likes of uh, Erasmus coming off, you know, Emmett, probably one of his quieter games, but nonetheless, um, yeah, look, it was just, it was a game where we had to find ourselves in the, in the turmoil, right? We had to find ourselves, we had to dig deep, we had to show some heart, some grit, and despite a lot of us, I think in the first quarter anyway, just about, I think, throwing in the towel, Fremantle were slowly but surely going through the process, going through the waves, and obviously at the end there, managing to... Um, to come away with the victory. Um, there were some really key points in that game there, I really think. Um, you know, Luke Jackson, as I touched on before, I thought some of his stuff there. Caleb Sarong, right, key moment there. Some of the intercept marking as well by Pierce. But um, again, just that uh, the the eyes up footy, I feel, particularly from mid-range, the midfield, sorry, where we were just handballing it and, and, and somehow things were connecting. I just thought, all in all, it was actually very inspirational. And I, yeah, I don't know, I mean, it was just a good game, it was a good game, it was a feel-good game, um, yeah, that, that's probably the best way I can sort of sum it, I think everyone put their hand up, and despite the 
early onslaught, we came back and uh, we delivered our own. As for the calls, the umpires, well, it is what it is, right? Um, 21 free, kick, free kicks in the way of the Lions versus our 20 free kicks. So it is what it is. It is what it is. But I mean, ultimately come away with a win at home against a hungry Lions team that are now going to be still first searching for their first win. Right? They're yet to win. So this is good for us. We have North Melbourne um, next week. And, uh, you know, normally a team that, well, yeah, you know what they've done. So it's time for us to get our revenge. But in saying, in saying that, we we're going to be focusing on this week. I hope there's good news for Oscar McDonald. And if there isn't, um, I hope he has a lot of support. But, I mean, ultimately, I'm just so happy with the win. You know, all the players there, if I forgot any, I didn't mean to. It was just a good, strong, collective effort there. And, um, again, just those kicks and the goals and, oh, man. All the, it, was just a, it was a game where I think we experienced all the emotions. It was a typical Frio game, you know. Not too sour, not too sweet. Just right. But I'm saying that, though, it's always better when we cap off with a win. However, in saying that, I'm done. Give me your thoughts on the game. Let's celebrate. Let's chat. And saying that, that I'll be uh, producing more content. Follow me on Instagram. I've also got a Twitter, also known as X. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. <sighs> go the Dockers. Don't argue.